All right, so I'm making this video because I just bought Fallout New Vegas yesterday, two days ago, and I spent six or seven hours trying to fix all of the problems for it. I'm running Windows 10. This this should be a complete everything you'd need to get New Vegas to start running without crashing or lagging on you constantly. The first thing you're going to want to get is go to find the New Vegas script extender. Currently, it's at version 5.0. Download the latest release here and install it and follow its instruction to install. The next thing you're going to want to do, head over to Nexus Mods and download the latest version of Vortex, which is their mod manager. There's only one file that you'll need to get that doesn't have the auto install feature with Vortex. Um, so after you get Vortex, the first thing you're going to do is get a plugin called JIP LN NVSE. This plugin works with New Vegas Script Extender and it just gives it, like it says, 800 new functions, makes it way more effective essentially. This is all just the baseline stuff that I'm going to suggest you get for everything. Everything after this actually starts solving problems. But a lot of them actually need New Vegas Script Extender or the JIPL, the plugin extension. So the next thing you're going to want to get is the Fallout New Vegas 4 gigabyte patcher. This has something to do with how when Fallout New Vegas was originally made, it only managed to use two gigabytes of memory. And this is actually why a lot of your games will just stutter and lag. You'll get about five five seconds out outside the door of a Doc Holidays or whatever his name is, and it'll start just lagging to hell. You download this, your lag will be gone. One thing you do have to get is the VC runtime redistributable which is important. It will solve everything. You can, it says manual up here, but you can go, okay, so you'll have to download this one manual as well. It's pretty easy. Just download and then read the, man, the instru installation instructions, which it should have, yeah, right here. After that, get the New Vegas Anti-Crash. I don't know exactly what all this solves, but I've been running it from the start. And it's, it's definitely helped st solve things. After that, the New Vegas Stutter Remover, which doesn't actually remove the stutter for me, but it is a base mod for Fallout New Vegas Stability Enhancer and Stutter Remover for Windows 10. This is what actually stops all of, all of your crashes. I kept crashing every every 10, 20 minutes on it, and then I installed this this mod. This is another manual one, but it's real easy. You just extract and then you move it over into the data folder and overwrite. It tells you right here what to do. And it is 100% what solves almost all the crashing problems. The only thing you'll have to deal with after this that will cr possibly crash it, if you download a bunch of texture, location, NPC mods, it'll override the or overload the memory buffer for Fallout. And you'll just crash because of too many memory, too much memory usage, and sometimes it'll pop up with a t memory timeout or something like that, or it'll just crash straight to desktop. And that's that just means you've got too many mods installed, which there is a way to solve that. I'll explain it at the end of this. There are two other mods that I've got installed that do help a lot. I think I'm not exactly sure what all they do. This one is Stewie's tweaks it just does a bunch of random stuff that uh i think it improves capability and then the full screen window mode it really helps i think it makes it a lot more stable because i know that a lot of these older games when you all tab it just kind of crashes there is one more game that i forgot uh OBB, i think i thought i had all these up let me double check for you. This is the list I've got. A lot of these are not needed. OGG Vorbis Libraries. So you go to OGG. 
This helps improve the dialogue libraries, makes it where it doesn't crash as much as well, as far as I can tell, or it just overall improves it. All right, so those are the minimum ones I'd get, minus the Stewies and full screen. I just suggest those in addition. Now, if you do want to have texture packs galore, mods, locations, everything like that, you can go ahead and get an ENB boost, this, and that will actually extend the amount that you can, the amount of mods that you can actually use for your game. It's not something I've done because I am filthy casual or something like that. Who knows? Anyways, I spent six hours trying to get Fallout New Vegas to work, and uh, this is the fruit of my labors. You need these, and once you get those, you'll be able to do. You'll be able to play the game. I've I've only had it crash on me twice after I had those installed, and both of those were from memory buffers from having too many mods installed. I just it just can't handle so much information, I guess. Anyways, if your game is crashing, go install these specific mods. And uh, if it's still crashing, I'm, I'm sorry, but that's unlikely. It's, such, it's just unlikely. Good luck. Have fun. Play you some Fallout New Vegas.